some swing straight away, missing the stumps. Ron Moore Martinez has got to make a call, asking for a DRS. He's convinced his captain. Here we go, action of the first ball. He's gone for this because I think he thinks this is hitting full. And it's only got to then pitch in line. The only way this won't be given out is if it's maybe pitched outside. Definite swing there. He may have swung past leg stump as well. Fair delivery. Move on to front on, please. That's fine. We go through the process. Front foot, fine. Keep your eye out on two things. Does it pitch outside? And is it going to miss leg? Keep rolling, keep rolling. Oh, no. just, just, just roll it back, this roll is it close, back. Ramiz. If it clips, it'll stay as not out. It has to absolutely smash right, the leg stump. You. Where did it pitch? That's the other thing. Right, bat's close to the ball. To know. Need to confirm. Fuller lane. Can I have this ultra edge is ready, mighty please? close. This could be 50-50. Well, he's got to check whether there's a little bit of an inside keep rolling, edge. Keep rolling. Keep rolling through Batsman, the bat. Batsman, no. As Flat soon as a bit of inside edge, that had gone straight up. back, please, for me? So I just think the only way this will be given not it's out is if it's pitched outside leg, I don't think it has. You can go and if it's just clipping leg ready, stump. Please. I'm satisfied, no bet involved. Here we go, Ramiz. What are you saying? Not out. This is not out. Pitching in line. Oh, smashing the leg stump. What a good call by Mohamed Amir. I absolutely misread it, as did Martinez. Well, we have a decision of the first ball of the contest. Remember, Karachi Kings won the toss, decided to bowl, and what a great result. Masterpiece effort. Happy Dean Jones as well. Happy Wazim Akram. He's done that so many times. Golden duck for Tom Banson. Oh! Dare I say more? Stumps demolished. What an over. Couple of great deliveries by Mohamed Amir. What a delivery. What a delivery by Mohamed Amir. Smashes the stumps over. What a start for Karachi Kings. A perfect delivery for the left arm. Swing, pace bowler. Watch this. Beautiful seam. Nips back. Tell your story. Walk in. What a start. The end of Hyderelli goes to four. Over 78% of sides go on and win games, taking three wickets or more. Gone! Unlucky, but he's got to go. It was smashed, but found the fielder. Well, that's exactly what Imad was in, would have wanted. Want to take those three wickets and the percentages of going on to win a game, but also to get out the dangerous Cameron Atmel. He's unlucky, he times it, but unfortunately it's a simple catch. Babar Azam with the catch, and all of a sudden the Kings are in control. Karen Atmel goes to four, Peshawar in. Get it. Straight down the ground and straight down the throat of Chris Jordan. He held his nerve and watched that boundary. It's not, it's Barbar Azam. <laughs> wow, that is a big breakthrough. It was a partnership that was threatening. Livingston decided it was time to go. And the ball just drifted away from him a tiny bit. He thought he got there, but the ball drifted away from him at the death, just turned a smidge and came off the bottom portion of the bat. And Baba did ever so well to uh, judge where he was in terms of the rope. Judge the cat. What a total to give themselves a chance. It's been a tough innings for them. Slow ball, and it's a brilliant one. Yes, 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 superb from Mohamed Amir. He picks up his third, and it's as simple as you like. Well, it was wide above stump, but it was 114 k an hour, so good deception from the left armour. He's on song this evening. He broke the back early of Peshawar and it continues late in the piece. This is so valuable in the final five. Too easy, far too easy. And so it's 114 for five, he's gone for 25. Different prospect, 160 would be okay. 
straight up the chimney. That has gone miles up in the air. Chad McWhorton says, leave it to me. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. He's had, hardly had to move, but that was not straightforward by any means. Huge smile on the face of the Jamaican, and why not? Magic stuff. Look at that smile. It was the dive at the end. He wants to make the classic catches. He could have just swallowed that without diving, but let's put in a dive for a little bit of fun. They just seem to get a wicket every time they need one. Carlos Brathwaite, he knew, look, he doesn't move, and then he has to dive. Swirling around, even though not too... But, uh, whatever it is they're putting on, I think it's, it's effective. Goes for the Yorker. There'll be a shout. He's gone. Yeah, absolutely stone dead. That's the end of uh, Wahab Riaz. It's a Yorker spot on from Chris Jordan. And another bit of success for the Karachi Kings. Yeah, they're on song this evening. If they can match it with the bat, then they'll be getting these well before the 20th over comes up. So he runs across. That's hitting middle. One of the easier decisions for the umpire. And he finally gets it on target. And guess the length. Uh, Zalmi up to 160. Couple of boundaries. Gone! Jordan picks up another. That's the end of Shai Malik. It's another full delivery. Outside edge, pouched by Chadwick Walton. And this has been some bowling performance from the Karachi Kings. Yeah, and it's a good effort because one of the extras he has to bowl. He bowled those two wide, so that's a ball he didn't need to bowl without the wide he gets a wicket with it they could have been deliveries that punish Karachi Kings but the fine innings comes to an end 68 for Mal on a placid track got him and that's exactly the start that they needed the Zalmi and Hassan Ali delivers perfect from Hassan Ali the crowds are up in the aisles the yellow flags are out as well a lot of celebrations for the Zalmis, but there's still a long way to go before the upset Karachi Kings. They run out of the DRS time, but this is perfectly bold. Nice and full from Hassan Ali, and he missed the ball, and he was dead in front of the stumps. That front foot going a little across the line, hit the back leg, would have shattered the leg stump, if not good part of the middle stump. The fuller length are proving to be very useful tonight. And an early breakthrough here as uh, Shahjil Khan goes for four. It's four for one. <laughs> Got him. Just as everyone was anticipating another milestone for Alex Hales, Yasser Shah strikes. I think he didn't pick the wrong one, and if he did, he went across the line and missed the ball. I think he's looking for that dinky shot round the corner, get a single, get a 50. Yeah, I think he read it, but just missed the ball completely. Big gap between bat and ball. Clearly looking for that tickle round the corner to give him his 50. But this has been classic. Classy knock comes to an end. 49 of 27, two down for 105. Too often, watching fours and two sixes hit already. So, will this hang in the air? Yes, excellent catch on the boundary. And Tom Banton doesn't make a mistake, and uh, one wicket buys two. Pretty needless. The flags are up, the yellow flags. Is Zalmi sensing a kill here? This wasn't required at all. He's just walked in and wanted to finish it, maybe in a hurry, to finish this contest in middle it. It was middle quite well, but an easy take. 
Yasser Shah has bowled extremely well. Three overs, two for. Oh, this could be out. Top edge. And he gets his uh, West Indian colleague out. Chadwick Walton, top edges, uh, a short delivery from Carlos Brathwaite. And it's a tame end. He was trying to finish it in that one big blow. It just hurried him up, top edge, and then didn't go anywhere. It was a slower ball that you will see. The top edge in play it just doesn't get the distance. Very comfortable in the end. So he'll be disappointed that he wasn't out there when it finishes. It's gone for 22, it's 147 for 4.